we sort of cut the uh, the uh, appropriation down. The request was for two hundred and thirty-three thousand nine hundred forty-nine dollars, and I've cut that back to one hundred and forty-one nine hundred and fifteen, which is only about four thousand dollars over the default budget. Uh, we tried to cut back some of those services and go a little slower in things that we need to do. You know, one of the things we're trying to do is get the grass to grow again. Mm -hmm. uh, because in some of the areas in the cemetery, it's yeah. not growing, it's dying. Yeah. Uh, we're also treating for the grubs which are killing it. And uh, trying to take care of that. As you know, we've taken quite a number of old pine trees down. So the ants are all looking for places to live at this point. Because some of them are really infested and really bad. Uh, but that's, that predicament is mostly gone. We just will eventually have to wait for the... <coughs> excuse me, wait for the stumps to uh, to rot out and we'll just remove the top of the stumps and yeah. regrass that area, put some mm -hmm. low over it and grass it. Uh, we're going to plan on doing a little bit of homework on trying to fix some of the streets. Uh, as you can probably see from driving through uh, there, the uh, large pine trees that we're taking down were heaving the streets with their roots. Right. So we're going to try to cut those at the perimeter of the streets and, and uh, then put a patch over that area so it will be smooth again. Mm -hmm. You can actually go through. Uh, we have built a brand new uh, section of the cemetery, a brand new section for burials, and that seems to be going very well. Uh, they are selling graves at, uh, at a, a respectable rate, and money is going into the, uh, into the endowment fund for the maintenance of the cemetery in the future. So trying to cut this back to realist, realistic uh, things that are going on, we're just going to move backwards a little bit, continue to replace equipment, continue to have our few employees that we have, which are all part-time. There are no part, no full-time positions there. Uh, we do do a little bit of overtime from time to time, but that's usually because we have burials on weekends and we have to have somebody come in for that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> contracted services uh, is something that we, uh, we continue to do. We, we knocked that down by 2.96%. Uh, trying to keep that in line with what we actually need uh, as opposed to bringing in a bunch of contracted services which will some, appear sometime in the future. Uh, we have a number of gravestones that are going to have to be reset because they're actually being pulled right. over the ground. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there are none currently toppled. Uh, we had to dig several gravestones up to reset them. Mm -hmm. um, some of them had completely disappeared. The small, like... Um, Military stones yeah. in the in the uh, so-called uh, town portion of the cemetery. They had disappeared several feet under the ground, and we had to dig those yeah. out, for resetting those, and making them look <clears throat> decent again. So, <clears throat> we think this is a, a program that will continue to run. It uh, it's not much of an increase. It's an eleven thousand dollar increase over what it was uh, this year, and uh, it's a little bit more than that in the previous years. But uh, we're improving the cemetery as we go along buying equipment, treating the ground, and trying to make it look much more presentable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mrs. Wolsey? Yes, I, and I forwarded to Fred, I got a complaint about a tree that had been planted uh, by a grave and then the tree died or something. But bottom <coughs> line, I'm wondering, do they, I don't go into the cemetery that often. Um, are the trustees considering putting up a few sign boards or something, say, for example, I've had people talk about, they put these little uh, statues or stuff, oh, yes. yeah. and uh, I, that's got to be a pain in the neck for the poor men who are cleaning in the cemetery and cutting the grass and all that. Is there a way for them to put up a few signboards and, said, and say, please do not you know, put statues or uh, please do not try to plant plants or trees. If, if you drive in, you'll see there's a brand new signboard as you go down the entrance road. Okay, then I will. Describing a lot of those things. Yeah, that will help. Because it seems, you know, I feel badly for the people who have lost loved ones and oh, are yes. going in there, but you can't have somebody just planting trees at random. And well, it causes, a, it causes a problem. We had a recent issue where the, uh, a person who called in and complained yes. that two of the trees that they had planted had been taken out. And they were correct because they were planted on somebody else's gravesite and they had to do a burial there, which was unfortunate. And the third tree they have is dying. Uh, so it doesn't leave much room. The soil there is not very good. Yeah. It's not good for planting. Yeah. Uh, we're lucky we can get grass to grow in some areas, never mind trees. Pine trees will grow anywhere. 
We had uh, to complain about a poetry that was poisoned and all that stuff. So. And we're actually that that particular complaint. We're actually uh, we because the avarist is coming in to look at another tree in town, yeah. which we're very concerned about. He's going to actually take a look at that, take a sample, yeah. and determine what happened to the tree. Oh yeah, but people should not be just going in and actually. The regulations have always said you're forbidden from planting trees in the cemetery. Yeah, but unless you wave the information in oh, yes. front of them on the board. <clears throat> I agree. Because I thank you for your help on that complaint as well. Regina? I have nothing on the cemetery. Thanks for all the work you've done with it. I'm going to try. Yeah, Fred, the whole mess that there was has been cleaned up. Mm. I won't say yes because mm -hmm. we don't know for sure. Uh, but I would say that 99% of it is cleaned up, okay. something in that area. We're right. trying very hard to keep it running consistently. Um, we're hoping that with the trees that were taken down at this point in time, there were passageways between each yeah. of the rows. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, they've been used for internments. And so where the tree trunks are now, we're, obviously, we're not going to inter anybody there. Right. So hoping to use those as past new, new passageways where it's very right. much allowed. Right. But I, mean, I was talking about some of the administrative problems that we had going on down there. The administrative problems, by and large, are resolved. Okay. All right. And we're staying on top of it to make sure it stays that way. Yeah. And as you go by, you can see that they're cleaning it up. They're doing a much better job of maintaining it mm -hmm. and everything. It is. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's very good. Problems, hopefully, from a maintenance standpoint, are disappearing as well. Yeah. One more quick one for Fred. The cremated remains, have they now a section or of the cemetery? Because that would be separate, I think, or should be. Uh, most people own grave plots, and some of them actually have internments of full-size caskets. Yes. And then they have internments in the same lot with, uh, with the cremation remains. So uh, there's no one specific area where the, because that was a little bit of an issue, I think, a couple of years ago. It was, and we actually looked at it, and it, it would cost uh, a lot of money to build the facility that we're right. talking about. I forget what they call that. They have a name for that facility. Yeah, they I do, and I forget what it is, too. I've, I don't um, remember. My mind's been on drainage the last we few days. We don't have that um, now. Okay. We don't, we don't have a, a, spa a space for cremations, but it would take a considerable amount of money to build it. Okay. And to put it in, put it in operation, but that's something that may have to happen. But we're not in the just having them thrown somewhere. They're actually being interred within the graves that they own. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Well, the thing is, it's been years since people have been allowed to plant plants in cemeteries. Most cemeteries don't even allow people to bring plants there anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's so very true. People are unreasonable to do such <clears throat> things. It's it, it causes do. a whole series of problems. Uh, not just for the cemetery property itself, but with the actual graves themselves. Yeah. We actually have some headstones that are imbe embedded right in the trees because they've taken over some, yeah. some sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you.